Mm. Every now and again I do. But... I had frost seeded some clover into that food plot this spring and that's what they're out there eating. That clover is pretty glyphosate tolerant, so I sprayed it, and you can see all the other stuff's dying, and the clover's still mm -hmm. growing. Here comes another deer. Smell this or what? Yeah, it might. I think they're looking at the decoys. Looks like she's got a leaf in her mouth or something. Oh, looks like she just swallowed it. There yeah, it is. I think it might have little nubs. Okay, everybody, we're back in the same spot we hunted yesterday. It's the 27th of May, and uh, the only difference is this morning we have a Jake and a Hen decoy out here instead of that full strut decoy. I wanted to go with a Jake because I got some trail cam video of a go that gobbler chasing some Jakes around out here. So he might be aggressive toward uh, a Jake, but not toward another Longbeard. And uh, with him having a bunch of hens with them all the time. Just having one hen out here, I don't think would pull them off all those other hens. So that's my reasoning for putting the Jake decoy out here. But we haven't heard any gobbles yet this morning. Uh, we're just gonna kind of sit tight and hopefully he shows up like he did yesterday morning. Just wanting him to come a little closer. Yep. We'll see. Just to make sure Gobbler's not standing right next to the field so far.
I didn't get a chance to wrap up this morning's hunt, so uh, I'll just do that. We only ended up seeing that hen. She was the only turkey that came out to the field, and we never heard a gobble or anything. So there's a good possibility that shutter decoy really scared the crap out of that Tom because it's the first morning he hasn't been out there in like five days. So uh, that's kind of unfortunate, but it is what it is. Uh, the season's come right down uh, to the end here. It's the, Today was the 27th of May, tomorrow's the 28th. And then uh, I've got a wedding to go to this weekend, so I'm going to miss a few mornings of taking somebody out. But tomorrow morning I'm taking Slav out in Pennsylvania. So I'm looking forward to that. So we'll see you on the next video. Thanks for watching, everybody.